we're an hour and ten away from Donsack Pier. That's the bus, little minivan thing that we're in at the minute. It's pulled over for a ten minute break. So that's what we're doing right now. Lemon tea. Nice. Mm, so good. I had one of these weird caramel flavoured milk with these weird little jelly bubbles in. So we're back at the ferry terminal. Ready to go. The air conditioner is in the process of being set in back order. And this is us getting off the port. That's them getting ready to go on the boat which just came over. It's Kosamui. Our favourite, in previous trips, our favourite, Thai Island. So we're still in this song too. We're at last ones, we've dropped everyone first. It's been a long journey from the port, but it's just literally curved in. I like literally, and when I, when I want to say curved, yeah, I mean big deep curves. It were like crash. We all went we were like me, Ollie, and this Chinese man. Right. So this is um, our room. How much was it a night, Ollie? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven pounds a night, which is cheap. It's in the middle of Chuang, which is a main area of Samui. We've never stayed in Chuang before. It's a little bit livelier than what we're used to. We usually stay in Lamai, but the room's nice for the money. Now, there is a downside to it. If we were one floor lower, that would be our view. This is our current view, some kind of weird mesh, and then their rooms of another hotel by the looks of it. But it's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. But the bigger thing, is that there's a tranny show just next door. Um, lady boy show, I think is what they call it in Thailand. I think that's the technical term. Lady boy show. And um, supposedly it's that loud till 3am 3, 3 in the morning that nobody in this hotel can sleep. Now, just so happens, I'm pretty hardy when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't sleep in silence. I can't sleep in silence. My brain is too busy. So there's a good chance that even though Lady Boy's show might sound like a nightclub till 3 a.m. in the morning, one, we're on the other side of the hotel. It's not a, a, a big hotel, so it's like we could probably still hear it, but we're going to see. So we've booked one night, even though we want to stay here a few nights, we've booked one night to see if the Lady Boy show is going to be a problem or not. Uh, if it's not, I'm all right staying here for this money. Why not? And if it is... Then we're just going to move and we've picked somewhere that could potentially be a lot nicer anyway a little bit more expensive but what evs so yeah that's where we are right now okay so i'm going to add to this little bit of video i've just been told off off camera or, or informed that maybe some of my language i just used was inappropriate and she said i'm not sure a tranny show i quote holly is what they say anywhere in the world never mind just it so you'll have to let me know in the comments if that's inappropriate and if it is it was unintentional like my bts comment in vietnam um just in unintentional you're laughing you're not meant to laugh but yes you are take it as a joke because it was either an accident or a joke but no nothing else but yeah let me know in the comments down below if that's not what you can call what did i say to somebody did i call oh if i i won't say that yeah. So there's a strong weed smell, but there's a pool here. That's the tranny show. This is our hotel. Sorry, that's the lady boy show there in that thing. So we'll see what it sounds like. Right, so this is like a smoking area on our floor of the hotel. I just want to show you how close we are. The amazing lady boy show. I want to go sit. Hey, I, that might be one of them. Yeah, I have to ask one of them. Hey, we're going to see some lady boys. Honest to God, if that was one of them, where's she been? We're going every night. I mean, you tell me in the comments, she was gorgeous. I mean, she? He? I don't really know. I'm confused. I went in Thailand. What's that saying? 
I don't know. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And what happens in... Samui stays in Samui. I didn't know his name was Derek. I smell weed everywhere around it, right? When I'm walking around. And you might say, well, that's a bad thing. No, thank you. No, thank you. You might, I think you might have been selling it. You might say that's a bad thing, but check this out, right? Thank you. Um, so COVID took my sense of smell away to a certain extent and it never came back for weed. I couldn't smell weed. Everyone else can and I can't, but here I can smell the weed. So maybe my sense of smell has come back or maybe it's super strong stuff, I don't know. So we're just gonna have a massive pile of food. We've missed out. The, the hotel we're in is booked up, so we can't go again tomorrow night. So we've got to find another hotel. So the one night test for the Ladyboy show is like, it don't matter if it's super loud and, and we're okay with it, it don't matter because we can't be in there again. That is. So yeah, that's our hotel there that I just shown you. And the Ladyboy show building is just, just through that little gap. So yeah. Holly's saying the drink's good. I've not tried my pina colada yet. What are we saying? What are we saying? Oh, best pina colada I've had since Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Really? Top notch. Beautiful pina colada at this place. I don't know what it's called, but it's lovely. I like to judge a drinking establishment, and I know this is not one, it's a restaurant. I like to judge a drinking establishment by the quality of its pina coladas, if they do them. Just like, I judge Indian food by their kormas. And I know if you're not a korma eater, you'll be like, whatever. But, and, and their poppadoms and pickle trays. Poppadoms, pickle trays, and kormas. If they're good, everything's gonna be good. If they're bad or mediocre, everything's gonna be bad or medi mediocre. Yeah, you can do the same with the Chinese and the prawn crackers. If the prawn crackers are bad or mediocre, then the whole thing's gonna be rubbish. You never get excellent prawn crackers and then a crap Chinese. You always, if the prawn crackers are great, Chinese is great. If the prawn crackers are bad, Chinese is usually bad. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this pile of food. They, they do the smallest chips portions here. <laughs> and I'll tell a lie, there's some more there. Is Thank you very much. <laughs> That food was excellent. If you're considering some Western food, they do do Thai food here as well, but if you're considering some Western food, I think it's called top 10, I guess. In Chuang, very, very good, really good. So we just had a first massage in Thailand uh, on this trip. And it was first one on this trip. In Thailand? First one in Thailand, isn't it? Oh, yeah, in Thailand. Yeah, in Thailand, not first one of the trip. First one in Thailand of this trip. I chose my words carefully. Anyway, it was good. It was really good. <laughs> Tried to avoid the beasts. And yeah, it's good. Maybe, just maybe, we're thinking about having another. Is that bad to have two massages in one night? I don't know. Maybe we're going for another. We'll see. We'll see how, we'll see how it turns out. So we both came to the conclusion that we're going to have a foot massage, an hour's foot massage. So we've had an hour's full body oil massage, which was lovely. And now we're going to have an hour's foot massage. You watch, this will ruin it. I'll get a right beast or a bloke and he'll start folding me in half and poking his fingers in my ears and all that stuff. Uh, that happened in Lamai, which is just down the road. I, I don't, I, I've, I've vlogged it once. If you followed me for a long time, it's not on this channel, but you'll see a, an old vlog and I talked about it then. She was shoving, shoving her fingers in my ears and stuff. It was awful. So let's hope we don't get one out. We can have a quick pad thai in this like outdoor street food type bit. And Ollie's gonna have chicken with rice. Oh shit. Hello, we're in our hotel. So that was the old lady boy. So we just moved rooms, uh, moved hotels, sorry. Uh, we couldn't stay in that last one because they were fully booked. So this is a diff different one. Seems all right, how much was it all? Ish. 
don't know. Okay. So it's basic, spacious. Um, yeah, 27 pounds. She's just, just uh, it's got a little bit of a balcony. Um, and I don't know if we'll use it, but it's got a pool down there as well, which is cool. So yeah, Fisherman's Village. So this is Fisherman's Village at Kofot or something like that. It's beautiful at night, all lit up, and it's got house music playing and, and stuff. See out into the sea. It's nice. Show day three at Third Hotel. <laughs> day three in Sumeri. This is the lobby area, nicest one we've been to so far. Not got the room yet, but it looks good. Okay, so this room, about £47 a night. Uh, black ceiling, which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna show you the garden view in a second. So the toilet looks all right. Clean, functional. Uh, here's a garden view. We could choose garden view or mountain view. So we chose garden view. Here's the garden. Sorry, this is the worst vlog ever. It's multi-day and I've been leaving massive bits out. Like, but here we are. I'm guessing this is a Thai place. There's no Westerners here. The food looks good. In Thailand, they call it baked chicken, not roast chicken. I just found that out. But yeah, some, we've got baked chicken and sticky rice. So this has probably been the worst vlog ever. This is day five. We've been in four, ho no, three hotels, four different rooms, and I barely filmed any of it. It's been an epic adventure, um, but I figure I'll, I've got to make this into a vlog so day five we're going tomorrow getting on another plane day five um i thought i would do a bit of an update so i can finish this vlog and you can watch it so here we are we are at what's it called main um, waterfall or something like that so we're there i don't know what how you say it more no, i don't know so this is there's loads of people got off like buses and we just rolled up in the moped, which is the way to do stuff. So here we are. This is the waterfall. By the way, I saw some lads doing this last night. They poured some uh, local Red Bull, which is quite cheap, into a 7-Eleven cup of purchased ice. And um, I put some Sprite in and I've got like a makeshift Red Bull for less than a can of Red Bull. So this is the waterfall. What do you think, Ollie Chops? Yeah? So we don't know how to get round to it, so I'm thinking skip round these big boulders around there somewhere. Some cool weird natural rope swing, not rope swings, is it rope swing? Like vine swing I guess. These crazy trees. We made it. Yeah, I got in. My mate's still up there. Still won't do it. So Ollie's got in. Literally, now Ollie's got in, everybody's got out. Which wouldn't make it picture perfect. If it were such a nightmare to move around. So 
So if you're after a motorbike, then uh, these are trustworthy. Just to let you know, it's in Chiwang. Get yourself down to that one, that particular one right there. It's, I don't know, it's here, just next to this sunny shop. They've not ripped me off, no funny business, and that's good to see, so yeah. Finally, we found, <laughs> we found Ollie a bike that'll fit her. <laughs> or even a quad, darling. Yeah. You want a quad? Okay. So it's a little bit windy, and we've got some waves. The waves have been awesome here the last couple of days. Been absolutely amazing. It's such a beautiful beach, and the sea is gorgeous. Like, it doesn't look it on my camera because it's a blooming iPhone turned on its side. It's not a DL DSLR, but honestly, the sea is super clear. The sand is super gorgeous in the sea. It's wavy, which I love. I don't know if it's always wavy, but it is right now. There's this annoying beach club thing here, which some people absolutely love. But yeah, it's all right, this is. It's nice. It's all right. I'll take it. So we're going to go and find a little bit of sun here and go in the waves, which I'm not going to film. Just going to do it. So it just so happens I really like this kind of music. Kind of Afro beats. Love it. Yeah, yesterday it was a DJ called Mustache. And it was like zombie house, I'd describe it as. I don't know what style of house it was. It was quite, actually quite good, but this is Afro Beaks. I can't tell if that's a female Thai or what. I think it's a female Thai girl. Well, I'm miles away, so I don't know. But yeah, I like this, I like this music. I mean, it don't sound great right now, but... A bit of Afro Beaks, can't beat it. Look at my man's selfie stick over there, look at him. That's the biggest selfie stick I've seen in my entire life. Look at it. Legit, it's got a camera on it. What's that all about? So this is the last day of Koh Samui before we fly tomorrow to our next destination. Uh, I, think, I think this is day five, something like that. But anyway, we've got no moped. We gave it back. So now... We're walking to a place where we had some food the other day and it was good. It was baked chicken. I don't know if I filmed that. Probably did. Maybe I did. Yeah, we're going back there and then we're going to go over to Lamai. We're in Chuang right now. I'm going to go watch the Muay Thai um, for the evening until we fly tomorrow. So this place we came to before, it was rammed out. There's no, no tables, so we sat in these little things waiting. But it's pretty good, I think. So we got seated. Ollie's got water. I asked for Coke. What is that? Time for the honest verdict. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Do you remember Roller Cola from 80s? It's like Roller Cola from 80s. What do you think to dish one? I like it. You like it? Do you like it? Yeah. What is it? Pork noodles? Um, soy, soy sauce noodles? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. Cup and cup. I don't know what this place is called. Um, but it's by far the best Thai food I've had in probably Thailand, to be honest. It's in Chuang. Six minute walk from like the main road really good and it, it's always busy it's got that on the internal wall if that helps you find it that was my half baked chicken gorgeous absolutely stunning how good was that food really good, really good. i'm going to show you where to go to find it look at them cooking it all it's this thing here i don't know what that is but you just go in there look and it's a little restaurant thing, it's amazing. Really good food. Best Thai food we've had. So we're going over to Lamai, which is where we prefer the next place over, but with no scooter. So we flagged this Song Tayu down, negotiated, she wanted 500, which is a lot. I said 300, she said 400, and I said deal, because we were fed up of waiting. So off we go to Lamai to watch the Muay Thai and have a cocktail and maybe a pucker pie. I just made that all. No book of in Thailand. You 
see now how safe this is, look. Look, look, there's me. There's that metal, that's not a metal railing that's blocking me in, look. I'm just literally holding on. So we're here at the Mutai. We've got front seats, check this out, check this view out. It's not started yet. Look at this, front row. Yeah, baby. Okay, in this next one, I'm going to show you a special talent I've got, okay? And maybe, I don't know how many more matches there are, but I'll show you my talent. Okay, so looking at these two fighters, you've got a uh, blue guy, he's older from Denmark, um, a lot older. Uh, he looks kind of stronger. Red, red guy is from Thailand. Uh, he's a lot younger, a lot heavier. He's got his home advantage. Um, but I'm going to go straight with a blue win. This is going to be a blue win. Destroy him. Unless he puffs out. They've not thrown a punch yet. Um, I'm going to do the analysis. Red is older, heavier, shorter. Uh, blue is younger, lighter, got better reach. They've, got, they've both got the eye of the tiger a little bit, but I'm going to go for a blue win, a blue win. Okay, so we've got, I don't know where he's from, but in the red corner we've got a western white guy. Uh, I mean, he's a big guy. So, draw the whatever conclusion you want from that. Um, we've got Thai guy in the blue corner, he's older. He looks lean and strong, experienced. Red corner looks younger. I think this is a red win, a red win. gonna go for a blue win, a blue win. Looks like that's it. Looks like that's it. Looks like a blue win, a blue win. That was quick. That was like 20 seconds or something. So that's it, that's the end of the vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it, kind of. This is Lamai, Lamai's the bad thing. 
honestly, Trang's all right, but Lamaya's way better. If you're young and want a party like craziness, Chuang's the place to go. If you're a little bit older or a couple, honestly, come to Lamai. It's 10 times nicer in every way. Apart from Chuang Beach, I really like. Everything else about Lamai is better, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the vlog. Uh, off on a flight tomorrow at 6 a.m., so we need to get back, because uh, it's already a late one. It's gonna be probably one o'clock before we go to bed, up at six. So, um, that's it. Off to our next location tomorrow. I'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching.